Okay, I actually decided I'm going to make this into three videos. Um, I'll go through the DVDs last for my friend who's interested in DVDs. Um, DVDs, pay to buck a piece, same for the CDs. Uh, let me do the games, because I have friends who like games. Um, here's what I got in terms of games. I got this box. The whole box is $40. I'll open everything up in a minute. Um, this was $10, and um, I negotiated uh, this and this piece for tw to get them for $12. For me... I have to add parts to this, and uh, I'll probably sell this complete for like uh, this unit complete for 25 with a game. And fortunately, this one has the red uh, jumper pack, but that's actually pretty good. Uh, let's see. Oh, and this I will probably sell for say 12 to 15 dollars. Um, got this for a dollar at a yard sale pack, and for me that's a four dollar game. Um, then I got these loots. These are actually. A uh, dollar for the four, which is pretty cheap. Um, Ghosts and Goblins, pretty good game. I think it's uh, better than a common game. Tetris, popular, doesn't sell for much. Three to four dollars. Tetris again. Uh, Donkey Kong Classics. I think I could maybe get eight bucks for that at a flea market. Not really sure. Okay, I'm um, going through this box that I paid forty dollars for. I got a power pad. This might be available. I could. I don't think I'd ever be able to sell it at a flea market. Um, I did get a NES unit, and I'm sure it has all the parts. Let me just show you what's in the box. I'll take everything out of the box so you can see it. Um, fairly complete so far. I don't see the power supply yet. And here it is with a... There it is. Well, comes with a controller uh, and the power supply. Okay, so that's that. Um, then for the $40, if this works, I, I'm in good shape. Because um, this is 25 bucks for me with a game. Uh, this I'm going to give it to my friend. Like I said, I don't know what that sells for, but I don't think I can sell it to Flea Market. Um, let me go through the games I got. Uh, Mappy Land. Never heard of it. Um, don't know if it's a good game or a common. I'm going to have to check it out. Mappy Land. Okay, I'll keep going through the NES. Ice Hockey. This game is virtually worthless. Um... Classic Concentration. I'm sure this game has little to no value. I uh, have to check Gumshoe. I don't know if that game has much value. Um, I'll check it, though. That's a game I'm not familiar with. I'm not familiar with this game, either. Kickle Cubicle? Kickle Cubicle. Uh, I'll check it out. Let's see. Uh, Mickey Mouse Capade. Some value, not a lot. Most of my common games I sell at the flea markets for, say, $4, 2 for 7 or 3 for 10 Short Order and Explode. I believe that's a common game. Uh, Pac-Man. Older, the older Pac-Man might have a little more value. Paperboy, I believe, is popular. It's been selling pretty well at the flea market. Um, Super Mario 3. It's not an easy sell lately, this particular game. Even though it's a great game. Um, but I can still get 8 to 12 for it. Um, let's see, let me just keep going through. Uh, pinball has no real value. Lolo might have a little more value uh, than your regular game. Um, keep going. Uh, this particular Mario, these Mario's. Uh, sorry about that. Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, um, Track Meet. Uh, I think I'll pair that up. This particular game has very little value, uh, but I'll I'll pair it up with uh, the pad. Or eBay. Uh, let's keep going. I uh, got Jeopardy. Very little value. Uh, not an easy, not a hard game for me to find. So I'm still, I'm digging through the box. That's what's taking me so long. I, I didn't sort through anything. I figured I'd just do it. Uh, we do it together, pretty much. All right. Let's see what else we got. Um, the Flintstones. I got to check this one. I um, don't believe it has much value, but I need to check it. Monopoly. Uh, not a game with much value. Snoopy's Silly Sports Spectacular. I'm not really sure about that one. And this might be one that requires the pad. Uh, i got to check that. Let's see. Uh, continuing on. North-South. Never heard of this game. I'm going to have to check that. There's a lot of unusual games in this batch today. Um, Super Mario 2. We know exactly what that is and what I'm going to get for it. Like $10. The Tiny Two Adventures, I don't believe, is worth that much. Uh, Super Team... Games. Okay, this is a game that, that the power pad is required. Uh, I'm going to give that to my friend. Otherwise, uh, those power pad games are unsellable. 
because nobody has a power pad, so there's nothing you can do with them. Um, let's see. Continuing on. What's, what box is almost empty. Um, but, 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 what do we got here? Uh, Double Dare. Probably has no value. Um, RC Pro M. I got a million of them. Nobody wants them. Uh, look. I got a nickel in here. So, actually, the box cost me $39.95. I got some family photos. I don't know. Look, they're all dressed up. Something was going on. Um, there's more more parts to the NES. That is, uh, that's another controller. This is some wires. Um, no, and one of the reasons I bought... Oh, here, base is loaded. Uh, a worthless uh, game. I'll continue it on. Uh, this is one of the reasons I just said, okay, I'll buy it. I mean, I knew there were games in there. I'm not a, doing well with NES games right now, but Super Mario All-Stars games, that's like a $20 game, or 15 at least. This is at least a $10 game. So I figured I had 25 against Super Street Fighter 2. This might be an $8 one. I, I get mixed up, but I think it's a turbo one that's worth more. This may be a common game worth 4 or $5. But I knew right here in those three games I had at least $30. So I was like, fine. Uh, they wanted $50, actually. I negotiated down because, uh, you know, if the NES doesn't work... And I'm stuck with it. And then I got some some, uh, some little catalogs. Just go through these quick. I don't know what these are. Game Boy 1. Um, I'll pair some of these up with the games if they're worth more. If not, I'll, I'll save them. And I'll give them to a friend. You can put them on eBay. Uh, as a lot, maybe. So it's just a way for me to make an extra few dollars. And he makes some money off of it. Aquarius. Um, if I sell them at the flea market, they don't give me anything extra for them. And... They just rip them up most times, like if I sell things in a box. And I got some Game Boy books. And the funny, I didn't really get any Game Boy games. Kirby Pinball, Boomer's Adventure. Uh, yeah, most times people who, who uh, want these games say, hey, can I have them for free, you know? And uh, sometimes I give them to them if they're good customers. But Super Mario Land 2, Tetris 2, Dr. Mario. Uh... Super Mario Land, Tetris, Bugs Bunny, Game Boy, Snoopy, Sports Retired Double Dare. Yeah, these will go with the NES games, or I'll just separate them and give them to a friend. Jeopardy, Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Team Games. So I'll put that there. It goes with that. Pac-Man, Mickey Mouse, The Flintstones. Uh, I don't know what that is. Concentration, Mappy Land, Monopoly, and Gumshoe. And um, that's it on the games.